hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that all bell notification in that way you won't miss any time i publish a new video also to mention i started some new youtube channels so be sure to check them out in the description below all right so what are we going to be doing today well today we'll be making okay guys so we're going to be making some chicken with broccoli mushrooms and peppers so these are what we're going to be using so i have broccoli here which i'm going to blanch in some boiling water for a couple minutes i have some onion i have seasoning peppers i have some bell pepper here and of course our mushroom and we have the chicken um, across by the stove the chicken is already seasoned i will show you that this here is my sauce so here i have about two-thirds cup of chicken broth two teas um two tablespoons of tamari soy sauce two tablespoons of um, oyster sauce but i'm using gluten-free oyster sauce and two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of cornstarch so this is our sauce here and let me head over to show you the chicken. Okay, so this is a chicken here. I seasoned this with some rice cooking wine, about a tablespoon of that, um, about a tablespoon of tamari soy sauce, and some garlic ginger paste, which I made. I will leave a link in the description uh, of a video I made of how I did the garlic ginger paste. And I had this marinating overnight. This water that I'm going to use to blanch my broccoli, I did put a little bit of salt in it. Alright, so let's leave this for a few minutes, uh, about a couple minutes to blanch. And some ginger garlic paste. I'm also going to add in the onions now as well and the seasoning peppers ah, one mushroom came in I'm going to sprinkle a little sea salt on this Actually, the salt that I used was pink Himalayan salt. So let's saute this onion for a while and peppers to really bring out the flavor of the onion. Right, so I'm just going to cook this chicken until it's completely cooked. Just a side note guys, so what I just went and do is that I just went and soap out and wash my spatula. So what I usually do is when I initially put in raw meat into my pot, I would uh, stir it around and so forth and then once I leave it to cook I would go and wash my spatula because remember when I initially had put it in the meat was raw so I don't want to um, contaminate the meat that has been cooked with with the utensil that might have had you know the raw meat juices on it so that's why I would go and soap it out and then reapply it now to the meat that is um, being cooked. I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes to the chicken.
going to sprinkle a little salt on the mushrooms. Okay guys, so I'm going to add a little of the pepper flakes to the mushroom and peppers and broccoli. Not too much because I already added some to the chicken. Of course if you want to add more you can do that. You Add my sauce to this but before you want to stir your sauce first I'm gonna bring this up to a boil so we can thicken our sauce okay guys so at this point you would taste for salt to see if you need to add any more salt at this point as well, I'm going to be adding in some sesame oil. So there you have it folks, our chicken, broccoli, mushroom and pepper dish. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share with family and friends. See you in my next video. Bye for now.